All right, guys, are you ready to do it? Are you ready to get things done? If you are not motivated right now, but you need the motivation, I have a feeling at the end of this video, you're going to feel pretty good. You know, there's a lot of videos when I look back and I'm editing and I'm like, yeah, I did a lot. But in this video, you could not pay me to go back to this part. When I was just starting, we had just gotten back from vacation. Mike and I went to Hilton Head, South Carolina and had a wonderful time kid free and I'll talk more about vacation here throughout the video but when we got home you know the kids were with their grandparents so they had gotten home they had a laundry we had laundry the house was a mess there were a lot of messes I think like in every room it was a disaster we had so much laundry. I think I did seven loads of laundry throughout this video. So a lot of unpacking, a lot of decluttering, a lot of cleaning up messes and just cleaning all over the house. And yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. I also kind of have a life update talking about possibly moving, talking about how our dog's doing. So a lot of updates in today's video. I was getting everything unpacked, getting laundry started, and then I wanted to wash our bedding, even the twins' bedding. I was getting over a sickness that I had right before we went on vacation, and then we came home. The girls were all sick, so I probably g gave it to them. I had a sinus infection, so I wanted to go around, sanitize things, get our bedding washed, you know, with kids and their snotty noses and coughs. You want to make for sure you're washing the sheets as often as possible. And I was also spraying down our suitcases with this microphone micro band or micro band sanitizing spray it has a fine mist when you spray it you know I have other sanitizers and disinfectants but I like this one because it has a very fine mist so fine mist <laughs> I'm getting a little tongue-tied here um but yeah I wanted to spray that on our suitcases before putting them away in storage Like a light lighting up in the dark You make it right, I forgot how to act It's so classic Every time you make me nervous and I lose my words It's been a while since I forgot the most simple words So as you can see, our house was pretty messy. The twins were actually at a summer camp. We recently signed them up for a summer camp. Um, they just go two days a week, just for a few hours in the morning. It's kind of a way to get them some more socialization, do some outdoor activities. They're definitely way more shy than Avery was and hesitant about being around other kids that we've been noticing. So we thought this would be a good opportunity to get out there and socialize a little bit more. Um, Avery was with us and um, the summer camp just happened to start right when we got back from vacation but this was the mess from the night before because we had got home from vacation and we just enjoyed seeing our kids and spending quality time with our kids the evening um, before so then this morning I was able to kind of get a jump start on getting things done while the girls were at summer camp Avery was going around and helping me and I know you're probably watching this thinking like we just got back from vacation and I'm ignoring Avery I promise you I was not ignoring her she was helping and we I mean, I was cleaning all day long on and off. There were parts where Avery and I stopped. We went on a bike ride together. We went and got ice cream. We went to the park later on. So I wasn't ignoring her to clean all day. I was just able to get stuff done, stop, take a break, be with the girls um, on and off all day. 
but here in a minute you're going to see me grabbing a pillowcase to clean the top of our fan because I had not planned on cleaning it and then I saw some dust falling from the top of the fan so I was like yeah I need to dust that real quickly. So I do want to talk to you guys about us moving and our current plans for that because there is an update but here um, that I'll share here in a minute. But first I wanted to um, talk about me cleaning up my Dyson. I hate when that front, the bottom plastic part gets really dirty. It just looks gross and knowing that I'm, I don't know, it's just gross to know that your vacuum is dirty and full of dust and dirt, but it happens to all of us. So my Dyson is really easy to clean so I pulled it apart just pulled all of it apart and then I was pulling out the dirt and the dust the dog hair my hair to give it a proper cleaning and what I like to do to clean this with is rubbing alcohol so I'll take cotton rounds and dip them in the alcohol and then I can kind of use those to wipe the alcohol all over and then really get into that plastic part to get all of that dirt that is stuck on there off So in one of my last videos, I had been asked if we would ever move out of Ohio. And the answer to that was no, we will always stay in Ohio. I don't see it ever changing. I mean, maybe something dramatic happens with Mike's job, but I highly doubt that will happen. But as far as moving out of this house, it is becoming very likely. And I was kind of nervous. Like I'm really nervous to talk about this because I never want to see that we're it to seem like we're ungrateful for what we have and that this house isn't good enough because that's not the case at all and I am a little bit you know it's hard to say 100% that we're going to move because you never know Mike could turn around and lose his job tomorrow now let's hope that does not happen but you know what I mean like nothing is set in stone but assuming nothing like that major major like that happens we have decided that we are going to move we don't know when that is going to be we don't know when it's going to happen we are casually looking and i'll explain what i mean by casually here in a minute but what we are doing now is saving 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 as much money as we can for that when that time comes we are just casually looking meaning we are getting emails about houses that go up on the market but we are not touring we have not gone and looked at a house at all yet so we're just looking very loosely and if you're new here um, just so you guys have a little bit of a background when we bought this house seven years ago we only had avery so at that time we only planned on having two kids not three mike didn't work from home i didn't really need a space for a computer because i didn't i wasn't doing anything with youtube so um and then the other and like the biggest reason for us wanting to move is the neighbors directly behind us and they are wonderful neighbors wonderful but we moved in we didn't love how small the backyard was and how on top of the neighbors behind us are now i know in different parts of the country or maybe if you live in a different country that's very common and some of you may even be like your neighbors aren't even that close but for where we live it is pretty close and last summer they put in a pool so up until last summer it was never a really big deal because like the chances of us being outside at the same time didn't really happen now they're out there all of the time and we're so close that we can hear full conversations so it's not like I can just hear voices you can hear a full conversation and so we just would like a little bit more privacy so that 
coupling up with you know now having three kids mike working from home we just decided that we don't even need anything necessarily bigger we just want a different structure if that makes sense so i don't know i i know this is getting a little bit long-winded and i'll explain more here in a minute um, but i want to take a break so i'm not just like chatting your ear off I thought that was pretty funny. Emery was like, mom, I don't want this blanket in my bed. Why'd you put it in my bed? Um, anyways, the girls were back from their morning summer camp and this was after their nap. And I was just like in that mode of let's get stuff done. Let's like pop through the house and just take care of everything that I want to get done. And throughout this time frame, Mike was working, but he was like doing work taking care of the kids with me as I was getting stuff done. Um, he also went to get groceries, brought those back. And oh, I'm using the Aunt Fanny's cleaning vinegar spray to clean the blinds. I got that from Grove Collaborative and I love it. The cleaning vinegar wipes, I'll wipe down the girls' cribs with, and then the Jaws glass cleaner for the windows. But again, throughout this day, Mike was working on and off between meetings. He would grab the girl so I could get things done, get groceries. We were just like working together as a team to get life back to normal. Yes, yeah, so I think Mike and I had come home from vacation. We were just in this mode of let's get the house back to normal. I think we almost had adrenaline pumping through us that we were so productive this day, balancing the girls. Avery even had a softball this morning on day one. Like I said, the twins had summer camp. We had to get groceries, cleaning, laundry, all of it. And for the most part, we were able to tackle it together. But okay, going back to moving, we are getting emails currently about existing houses. And I'm sure your next question is, do you want an existing house? Do you want to build a house? And if you know me really well, then you prob probably already know our answer. We would prefer an existing house. The thought of choosing everything that you need to choose for a house is very overwhelming to us. But the problem is, at least in our area, we could build a house that would be exactly what we wanted for pretty much the same price um, that we would if we bought an existing home. And then with an existing home, you know, there's like at, for what we've seen so far that a lot of the existing houses in our budget, we would still have to make changes, you know, stuff that we would, we would want. That's kind of what my parents did. They were looking for an existing home and they couldn't find one. And then they built and they built a house for exactly what they would have paid if they bought a house, but they didn't have to make any changes, obviously, since they built it. So with that being said, we don't want to just jump into building. We're doing, um, we're just taking this process slow. We don't want to jump into anything. We want to take our time. We want to save money. We want to know we're making the right decision, whether the right decision is finding a, a, the perfect existing house for us uh, maybe that opportunity presents itself or whether you know we do end up building 
this we're just kind of waiting and taking it slow if we did build it would not be anything too crazy and we would probably keep it pretty simple just because i don't think mike and i are cut out to build a home so right now we're just getting the emails about houses that go up on the market so we can kind of take a peek and look that and i know that's that's kind of where we're at right now we'll see what happens this is honest you know everything that's going on I debated if I even wanted to see anything because it's really like we're not really doing anything and everything could fall through maybe we don't move you know um like that's why we're still thinking this through slowly to make for sure this is the decision we want and saving money but it could all fall through I don't know because it's not it's not like we're you know anything is set in stone but we'll see what the future holds I just wanted to let you guys kind of update you on this new step and we're just praying the right decision is clear to us we're just saving as much as we can and taking this process slow So there is a little bit of hesitation in sharing some of this, you know, because I know I get a lot of messages of people say, your house is beautiful. It's my dream home. And I agree. It's a beautiful, beautiful home. And us moving is in no way saying that we don't think our house is beautiful or we just need to upgrade because we want to. Um, honestly, the biggest reason is just more space a little bit more space and a bigger backyard the backyard is so important to mike and i that is like our oasis we're not big vacationers like we're not one to jet set all over the world but making our home like our cozy place is important to us and a little bit more privacy is something we want so we we know that this house is beautiful and we are grateful and blessed to have it so just making you know a little bit of changes and getting a little bit more privacy and room back there is what we're aiming for i never want to come across that like we're bragging that we're going to get a you know a different house or any of that we are grateful and blessed for what we currently have and if we had to stay here we would be happy and if we do stay here we will be as happy as if we moved Eight forty-five, and I'm exhausted <laughs> but it feels so good if any of you guys have come back from a vacation you know how you almost like I did not sleep well last night and I woke up and I felt like we had so much to do Mike and I were juggling so much between the kids softball summer camp laundry cleaning groceries like all of that we had so much going on but it was almost like i had adrenaline pumping through me because it's almost like you take a vacation you come back and there's all this stuff that you kind of want to do to get back to normal to kind of get caught up so i am happy with everything i accomplished today it feels good we got a lot done considering it was all in one day i still have a laundry in the dryer a load a load in the washer right now um, and then there'll be more tomorrow so i'm sure i will show you more laundry as i continue on and clean um mike's not going to be working that much tomorrow so i should be able to get some more stuff done and then finally i can be caught up so i'm gonna finish watching the bachelor and i'll see you guys tomorrow all right guys i am continuing on i got a really good night's sleep i think i said last night 
that the first night we were home, I think probably just traveling all day, I did not get a good night's sleep, but I got a good one last night and I'm feeling good. Like I finally feel back to normal. You know, traveling can kind of make you tired and plus not sleeping in your own bed for a couple of days can make you tired. So I finally feel good. Mike's with the girls. He is running some errands. He might take them to the park. So I'm gonna finish some stuff up today, get things done, and then finally finish up my laundry and then be back to normal, which just means cleaning up every day, you know, everyday messes, but at least we'll kind of be back to normal, somewhat of a clean house, laundry done, unpacked, all of that. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. I also wanted to update you a little bit on our dog Reese. Um, after the 4th of July, she had some anxiety when we weren't home because of the fireworks and did some damage to our doors and door frames in the house. We took her to the vet and they prescribed her some anti-anxiety medication. We did try the CBD oil that a lot of you guys suggested and that did not help at all. Um, so they recommended this anti-anxiety medication that we will give her on an as-needed basis. And then we got her a thunder vest. So we're pretty, we're feeling like this is a good, good solution for her. And she is doing really, really well. So this toilet was pretty dirty because we went like five days without using it. So it was nice to give it a good cleaning. And then I wanted to clean our shower and I have this handy little scrub brush with a nice handle on it from Grove Collaborative. And they have a ton of other interchangeable heads that you can slide on there. And I like this one that's a little bristly because I use a sugar scrub because I do a lot of self tanner. That's how I'm tan, self tanner. And I use a sugar scrub. It's like tree hut i think sugar scrub i get it from target or walmart and it helps exfoliate before you get your tan or it takes the old tan off the old self tanner off and since we hadn't used the shower in like five days it had hardened the sugar scrub had hardened on the bat or the shower so i wanted to use this bristly brush to get all of that off And if you're curious what self tanner I use, it's Loving Tan. It is by far my favorite. I've tried other brands and they just don't seem to do it for me. This does a good job of not looking orangey because I can be pretty pale, like my normal skin tone, and it fades really, really well. So I'll have it linked in the description. I also use a mitt to apply it.
And then I was going to use this Rain-X glass cleaner. It's a two-in-one glass cleaner and Rain-X rain repellent. Well, water repellent, I guess. So I like using that specifically in the inside of the shower glass doors because it cleans it and then repels water and keeps it cleaner for a little bit longer. Oh, and as far as our vacation was concerned, it was amazing. Like Mike and I said, it was nice to get away. Um, we went to Hilton Head, South Carolina. It was beautiful down there. We've never been away from the kids for that long. And I don't think, um, I think we've only been away a couple weekends, like just like a Saturday actually, because we probably saw them on a Friday and Sunday. So this was the longest we had been away from them. And Mike and I were talking that it wasn't even necessarily nice to get a break from the kids. I mean, of course it's nice to have some alone time, but what was even better and what I personally enjoyed and he agreed to is we're just busy specifically with two-year-old twins. Like we never just get to sit, like I just sit and just enjoy a, a a cup of hot coffee in the morning like I don't even need like the silence in the morning that would be nice but just to have to be able to sit down maybe after the girls eat and let them play because they still are just getting into something fighting or something I guess that's mom life but it was nice to not have to be like I have to do laundry fold laundry I have to submit the grocery list I have to meal plan what are we doing this weekend who needs to be where you know like the stuff that you have to coordinate as parents um it was just nice to kind of sit back and be like I don't have to do anything I don't have to think about anyone it was nice So I typically don't like using my Shark Ape Uplight, Apex Uplight Vacuum. I think that's what it's called. I don't like it using it on my hardwood. I like using my cordless vacuums, um, but I do like using the Shark for the carpet. But I had ran my Norwal robotic vacuum the night before. And with the exception of breakfast, there really wasn't a ton of crumbs or fur on the floor. So I was like, I'm just going to kind of spot vacuum really quickly because I wanted to get a few other things done and I wanted to mop. So I was just kind of spot vacuuming before mopping. And then, you know, like I wanted to pop around and do some things upstairs. Vacations are nice, but then you get home and, you know, we left our home our house and it was clean but then we got home we had a good evening just spent quality time with the girls we had a ton of like mail we had gotten you know we had unpack and the twins were messing up the house like they always do so I just felt like I had energy and I was popping around and doing all of this stuff to try to get my house back to normal
mop, I like to make for sure that I'm cleaning and then disinfecting the mop bucket. You know, we don't really think about that, but how gross would it be to never clean out the mop, mop bucket? So I usually just wash it out with some soap and water, Dawn and water, and then I'll spray it with a disinfectant to let it sit and then I let it dry. If it's outside, I'll usually put it out on the front porch maybe to dry a little bit faster or I'll just leave it out. And that way I know when I use it next time, I have a clean, clean mop bucket. And I also wanted to clean up Avery's bedroom. She was with Mike and having Avery out of the house, I thought I would seize the opportunity to get in there. If you guys have been a follower of mine for a while that you know I like to go in here about once a month and clean her room. She cleans her room at least a couple of times a week, probably once or twice a week. And I let her do it. I don't criticize her. I don't tell her to move things. I let her clean the way she wants to clean. But then I go in there monthly and this honestly had been a little bit longer than monthly. And I get in there, throw stuff away, declutter, put things where they should go. And she lets me do that. But you'll see me when I walk in here and my face was like, great. I don't even know where to start. You know, that feeling of kind of dread like oh, I don't want to do this I don't even know where to start that's how I felt in there because I just feel like her room is full of stuff and I wanted to go in here get stuff to donate declutter and just get rid of stuff Her room drives me crazy, but every time I see it, I have to remind myself that she's a kid. She cleans her room every week, and even though I like a clean, decluttered, I want as least amount of stuff as possible, she's a kid. She's six. There's going to be stuff in here. Now, and like she even has like baby doll stuff in here that she doesn't play with a lot, but I know the twins are going to, they're just starting to get into that. So yes, I could probably get rid of some stuff in here, but there's stuff we're saving for the twins. So I try to remind myself she's six. This is not m my perfect bedroom, but you know what? She's a kid. I got to let things go and let her be a kid. So here in a little bit, I will finally finish up all of that laundry with the twins hanging out. Avery wasn't feeling very good this day. So the sickness is just going through all of us at this point. Um, but Avery, or the girls, the twins, and I are going to finish up the laundry. And then Mike was going to put it all away. So it just felt accomplished. I felt accomplished to get it all done in two days. Here it is, all of the laundry, all nice and folded, clean laundry. And now we're gonna put it away so we can be done. Feels good to see it all laid out. Like I didn't wanna put it away last night at all cause I was like, I wanna see it all out. We saw it all dirty. Now it's all clean. Now let's finalize this and put it all away. <laughs> Thanks for joining me for this after vacation bye. clean with me. Say bye. Bye. We gotta wipe that nose. Can you say bye, Emery? Bye! <laughs>
Bye guys. Bye guys. Bye guys. Bye guys.